Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to export results to different formats such as CSV file, HTML file, etc. in MySQL or MariaDB by using Heidi SQL. Let's go to the server where we have installed Heidi SQL and connect to one of the MariaDB server. Now we can see the databases. I have different databases such as Tech Brothers IT and here I have table called the employee. Now take a look on the data and we can see that it has total of 2000 records and it is shown around 1000 records here so we can see that. Now the question is if you would like to export only these 1000 records you can do that or even whatever the query let's say you change your query and select top 500 or something records you can do that to select star from employee limit 500 okay in this case uh, this query is going to return us uh, 500 records uh, now we can export these results uh, or if we want to export all of these then we can also do that uh, let's go to the tools and here we have uh, export grid rows uh, now whatever the grid you have selected is going to show you that part now in case where we have 500 grid selected and you can go go to the export grid rows it is going to show you 500 okay that's very good because once you know what you need to export that grid you need to select and then you need to go to tools and export that grid rows great but in my case what i would like to do i would like to export all these 2000 so here it is showing me thousand so what i need to do i will hit to show all now it is going to show me all 2000 records and then i will export it uh, in previous you were seen only thousand uh, rows uh, here because uh, the grid was returning thousand rows by selecting all now it is returning us all the rows in my case it's 2000 okay let's go back here and also you have different options here you can uh, have a sorting but doesn't really matter for csv file if you are exporting uh, but you can unselect some of the column let's say i don't want uh, the column ip address uh, so i can uncheck that one um, get the results whatever i need to and then uh, go back to tools and uh, export okay let's export it and walk through the wizard First of all, you will be selecting uh, the destination. Um, so browse to it wherever you want it. Export CSV file. That's what I'm going to name it. So right here, hit OK. Now you have different encoding. In my case, ANSI is fine. You can have ASCII, Unicode, UTF-8, whatever works best for you. You can select that. Uh, now the output format, so we have variety of them. Uh, in my case, I will go Excel CSV. You can have delimited text, uh, HTML, XML. Uh, SQL insert so there is tons of variety even JSON that's really cool I mean this a uh, little uh, the tool is very uh, I will say the tool is very powerful when it comes to the export so you can use any different formats uh, even in a SQL server management studio uh, I don't see these exports uh, options for us there so they do a really great job for Heidi SQL developers uh, who has put all these effort to give us these all options options now here you can have different uh, um, if you can include the column names and all that you can have uh, field separations you can change those values uh, and finally you are going to hit uh, OK the file should be created uh, so you can see that we have export us underscore CSV file hit OK let's go to the desktop and the export uh, under, uh, underscore CSV file is uh, created uh, let's open that and uh, uh, analyze it uh, you can see that uh, it has created the columns name first uh, so id first name last name email and gender and then uh, the data is separated by uh, comma so really good job uh, on exporting uh, uh, this uh, um, rows uh, uh, and providing us all those formats. Uh, thanks very much for the Heidi SQL developers uh, uh, for doing a great job on export uh, 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 part of this Heidi SQL tool. Thanks very much, and I will see you guys in next video.